Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan Liberty Graphic Designs. Today we're gonna make a video on capillary films. And if you know, if you don't know what that is, stay tuned. Right after the uh, intro, I will show you what these are. We'll be right back. Okay, so capillary films. What that is, is actually a motion that is uh, spread on a very thin layer and uh, it comes in sheets. As you can see, this is a big old envelope from, um, <laughs> from Ulano. So this is Ulano Orange. So most of you or most of us are used to seeing Ulano Orange in this form, which is a uh, liquid form. But they also sell it in capillary films. So, I'm gonna show you real quick how it's done. And I have one, I have one here that is already open. Let me open it and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it comes in this big old envelope, right? And then in another envelope, in a black envelope, that way the light doesn't go through it. And then inside of it, it has yet another form of protection so the light doesn't get to it. So this is what these are. This is a capillary film. Let me see if I can get one out. Let's pull one of these out. And, uh, and you're gonna see, hopefully you can see it on the video. They're sticking together, so I guess I'm just gonna pull them all out and get one of them out. So here we go. I think this is two. It feels like two. Oh, it's just one. Here's another one. Okay. So let me put this one back. So with that one back in the package, I'm gonna get rid of this one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your screen. And right now I'm using a 195. You can use just about any screen. It don't have to be a 195, okay? So for capillary films, you don't need one of these. And obviously, you know, you don't need the liquid form. But you, what you are gonna need is a spray bottle with this plain water, and you're gonna need a squeegee. You can use one of these squeegees. You can get one of the squeegees from them. This one is a little more flexible. This one, it's not as flexible, but you can use you know whatever squeegee or you can use one of your regular squeegees I don't have one handy a regular squeegee to to you'll see what I'm gonna do in a little bit okay so what you want to do is you grab your screen and make sure it's nice and clean um, of any ink or oils and stuff like that make sure it's nice and clean and what you're gonna do is just gonna mist it with water just to make sure that it's mist it correctly Miss the back side of it. You don't have to miss the back. You know, as long as you missed it, it's nice and wet. And then you grab your your sheet. And um, I still think this is two. Anyways, I'll find out later. So now, let me tilt. Let me tilt the camera down so you can see a little better. Okay. So now, I mean, our screen is already missed. I'm gonna use just a little more and you're gonna grab your your sheet and you're gonna notice one side is nice and yellow and the other one is dull the one that's dull has got a carrier on it so the one that it's where the emotion is you're gonna put that one down and this is usually how i do it i just put the center in there you know just like that making sure that it's kind of straight to the screen you don't have to be exactly alike. So, if you can see, it went out. There's gonna be some bubbles. You can see them better on this side. You're gonna see some bubbles right there. So that's where the squeegee comes in. So you're gonna start at the center and squeegee the water out. You can again, you can either use one of these or you can buy one from uh, your suppliers and you can buy the actual squeegee that they sell for this. And basically all you want to do 
is get rid of all the water or the bubbles. And that's it. So don't squeeze it inside, okay? So even if you see that there's excess water in there, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Don't mess with that. Um, even though I don't. So yeah, so if you see any extra water in here, don't worry about it. Don't go and squeegee that out because you'll get some of the some of the actual um what do you call it? Let me see if I can get some so you can see it. No, I didn't get any. Well, I can see it right there. You can get the emulsion off of the off of the capillary film. So so what you want to do is measure that that's a here and you want to lay it with the sheet facing up and you want to lay it flat to dry. So I'm going to put this one aside. Okay, so you'll set it, you put it to dry, right? And once it's dry, guys, I already had one ready, okay? So don't think that it dried and in less than five uh, or less yeah less than five minutes it doesn't it's gonna take just like the other ones it's gonna take some time to dry so once it dries you're gonna remove the carrier the little film that goes in there so that's what we're gonna do right now just like that you remove the carrier and now you have a screen ready to go this is the easiest this is the easiest way to do your screens. So those are capillary films and you can get them on your supplier, you know, with whatever it is you buy yours from, you can get your capillary films uh, through them. So that's it, it's very easy. Super, super easy to, to work with. And um, I mean, the, ba the bad thing about this is that you have a lot of, a lot of areas that are uncovered and that you're gonna have to tape those so but uh they work really good i mean if you're in a hurry and you want to do something real quick and you don't you don't want to be messing with this and cleaning the the scoop coder um you can just throw one of these sheets in there it's very easy so i said for this video guys as you can see everything was very easy um go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching go ahead and subscribe to the to the channel and ding the little bell that way you're notified when we upload new videos Again, thank you for watching. It was a pleasure making this video. Let me know in the comments below um, if you used this in the past and if you like this one better, better than the regular uh, liquid form. Uh, or let me know what you guys use. And if you want to see some more videos, just let me know what you want to see and um, so we can make a video on it. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. And uh, see you later.